the Lord said, watch. The nations of youth will die. Then they will believe that Armageddon is near. We have six years left. Let them keep abusing. Let them keep mocking. Let them keep talking nonsense. Let them keep comparing pastors. No pastor is on the same level. We are not equal. Uh, you can be older than me, but you can't be grace with me. It's a lie. It's either I am higher or you are higher. Know your level and your size of people you criticize. If not, your children will suffer. We abuse leaders. Meanwhile, we as growing youth cannot be coordinated. The Lord said, watch them die. My back will turn. I was there for your father, father. I was there for your mother, mother. I was there for your mother and your father. It is now your turn. You call me a scam. What is happening to Africa? Are we making change? Are we getting better? We are not. You know why? We are condemned by our mouth. We are condemned. They abuse Nigeria. They abuse South Africa. They abuse every country in Africa. And every youth in Africa are abusing the church. The government cannot give you job because you have closed the doors of God's wisdom upon the leaders. The Bible said, pray for your leaders. You are abusing your leaders. How can the same leader you abuse make the country better for you? The Bible says, pray for your leaders. For they will have what? Understanding to rule you. And the Lord said, my son, sit down, cross your leg and watch you die. And never you ask for my mercy. For I will come in my own way. The church they call a scam. They will be the scam. We have six years left. It's time. They will say, oh, there is no God. Oh, they will say there is no Jesus. They will say, oh, the church is a scam. They will say, oh, but I, the Lord, will come down and I will shift my kingdom away from them. This is what the Lord is saying. I will not destroy the earth with flooding. But the same flood is about to come back. So in this election, the South Africa said, no, the ANC is not going to win. We're going to cause problem. And they're going to spit out a lot of blood. The Lord said, I will come with water to South Africa. That's what I'm heaping up. I will come with red mud. That's the red mud heaping up. If I... Where to be a South African man, I will go to the country, my country, South Africa, and I will tell them that the Lord is coming with his anger. Let's leave the church. Let's come together. Let us pray. Let us accept peace. And that's why the Lord is saying, look at them. The HIV rate is 90% of a whole nation. Only 10% are negative. The whole nation is dying. 
and everybody has condemned the church. They have burnt church. They have sent back the people, the pastors who have been to their churches, send them back. I cry, I weep when God keeps showing me this Amagedon in this nation. Not because I hate them. If I hate them, may God take away the anointing oil upon my life. May he take his grace. May he never speak to me anymore. I'm only saying it doesn't give me joy anymore for me to be putting prophecy confirmation. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired of that prophecy nonsense confirmation. It's nonsense to me these days. I am tired. I am tired of saying, man of God, your prophecy have come to pass. I spoke to one of the ambassadors in South Africa. I'm tired. I was crying with him. I am tired of prophecy confirmation of disaster in that nation. I'm tired. Now after the election, now you're going to see the trouble. Oh, they won't listen. They, they won't listen. After this, if I start call it up and put it now on Facebook, they will abuse me. They will call me all sort of names. They will call me all sort of names, call me all sort of things. But they know in their hearts that these things are true. Is there? I'm not happy. I'm not happy what is going on there. I'm not happy what is about to come. I'm not happy. You think the rain doesn't know what it's doing. God is just waiting, telling the rain to hold on. I'm seeing God moving through water. That's what I'm seeing. Have you ever seen sand covering house? Sand, flood, sand covering the house. There is no existence of house no more. They will abuse me. They will say, talk about Nigeria. I talk about Nigeria. I'm not scared. I'm not happy. There is nothing like confirmation that gives me joy. But I have to put it to those people who are angry against me. Please. Let us pray for these people. They are our beloved brothers. They are our sisters. Anybody from South Africa that comes to Nigeria, whatever it would take for me to give you a Nigerian passport, I will give you. Let's pray for them. Let's help them. They will insult me. They will abuse me. They will do all kinds of things. But they are seeing it. Let's pray for them. They need our help. Even when they are fighting, they don't know what they want. They still need our help. ANC have won the election. The problem will still come. Is that what we are talking about? What about the people? The Lord that is talking about the wickedness in the United Kingdom. The wickedness. The United Kingdom that everybody is struggling to go is making billions of pounds with Nigerian money. They are making billions of pounds with our money. But they are still the one giving you conditions, changing rules. Imagine the current prime minister. He's a selfish person. He is from India. He never makes difficult things for Indian people. But look at him making things difficult for Nigerians, making things difficult for Africans. And you are talking? 
they are destroying Africans. That's what they are doing. They are telling you speak against your your your, your spiritual leaders because even the American knows what God is doing. No, they know God more than you. That is why even in their money they said we in God we trust. They didn't say we devil. They say we in God we trust. They know God more than you in Africa. So they will send you an errand opposite what the Bible said so that they can kill you and take over your things. It's time for we to wake up. How do we wake up? It's time for we to go, oh God. Your education is nowhere. Just learn how to speak English and get some skills. Go to school, keep the paper, keep it aside, go learn the skills. Because when this interference will begin, we will not need certificate to become citizen or to be used as slave because the modern slave is coming back that is why they are using us to fight us and some stupid people who left africa and went to us are beginning to act mentally crazy because they own one goddamn thing called american passport so they forget their root So when they forget their roots, they felt that where they are is more better than the goddamn Africa they call us. And when they get there, they face racism. You cannot promise Pete as a black man and go to another white man country and expect them to use hanky to clean your face. They will pour you spit too. I'm not crazy about all these countries. Who told you I'm crazy? It's the American who gave me the call of God. No, they're not. They're not. It's time for South Africa to wake up. And I was sleeping a few hours when I saw I'm going to come live online. And I, and I saw Israel. And I saw the weapons of Israel facing South Africa. The weapons. Oh, you don't know? They've not said it. Okay, I'm telling you now. I saw the weapons of Israel facing South Africa. Why is the weapon of Israel facing South Africa? What did they do? Can I go deep? I don't think I will go deep. You don't want to hear it. Where's my book? That's the book. It's here. It's here. This is my name. This is my prophetic book. It's filled up. I have about 600 of them. Why is the weapon, have you ever heard this before? Why is the weapon of Israel facing South Africa? Why is the weapon of Israel facing South Africa? Why is the weapon is facing? I don't want to go deep because as I'm, as I'm talking to you right now, the weapons that the Israelites we use against South Africa is close, is close. It's a desert very close to South Africa. It's about a thousand meter and every weapon will go there. What will happen if Israel throws in just one rocket? If Israel throws in just one rocket, the innocent people are the one to die. Not the stupid online abusers, not the foolish and senseless people that will save them. South Africa, be careful. The Israel are close to you now. Yeah, I see them. They're close, very close. This has the weapons. They, they, they are very, very close. 
these people they are mobilizing together to fight Israel. I'm seeing some youth, I'm seeing some military people, I'm seeing some volunteer fighters who wants to go to war against Israel. They are coming from South Africa. Let them see your badge. Just go. Let them see the identity that you are not really from those European countries that wants to fight against them. Then you will understand what it is. I saw them. Their weapons are there. Very close to South Africa. This is Swazi land i don't tell you what god did he say this is swaziland and within the swaziland there is a desert there are places bushes inside these men are monitoring south africa i came early i told you that the weather is dark somebody who is in south africa confirmed it these military men are in south africa they are waiting to strike Let's, let's just pray for them because they will abuse me. They will tell me all sorts of things they want to tell me. But the confirmation will still be there. Are you getting my point? So it is time for we to pray. That's how I'm just going. I'm just giving you a, a little secret. Yeah, Israel are close to you. They will hit you. And when they do, you will understand better. The Israelites are close to you. They are close to you between Swahili, I say Swahili, between Swaziland and South Africa. They are in between. They are planting things against you. One rocket, whew, you guys are gone. So let's pray. Let the Israel. Let them, let, them, let them be. Let them leave. All those war things you think you have in, in South Africa are not much with the ones of Israel. So let's pray for them for the mercy of God. And that's the same problem when the Lord is still going to talk about the Egypt. There's going to be another conflict in Egypt. It's still there. Yeah, there's going to be a problem because they're going to tamper the things of God in Israel. Sorry, the things of God in Egypt. And there's going to be conflict in Egypt, social unrest, gun killing, ETC. It's, it's just hold on. It's a few. It's a few weeks now. In Egypt, still talking about Israel. Just hold, it's just a few weeks. It's going to happen. In Egypt, so let's pray for these people. We are all Africans. We need to come together. Not we fighting against ourselves, and these people are using us to shine. If we Israel, sorry, if we South Africa, Nigeria, you, um, all the countries come together, we will stand as one. No European nation will divide us. But look. For a man to go to Egypt, he needs a visa. For a South African to go to Egypt, I think he needs a visa. We just have visa, visa among us. Why the greatest countries in abroad Europe are just one visa, can visit as many. But we are here killing. How many times have you heard about this earthquake in African countries? How many earthquakes have you heard in African countries but look at the lord is saying nigeria we have earthquake ghana we have earthquake south africa we have earthquake egypt will have earthquake mali we have earthquake east africa mostly kenya we have a magnitude of what i call the 8.10 to 12 8.12 something magnitude that's what the lord showed me in kenya earthquake is coming what are we talking about Instead of we to stay together, pray together, unite together, you are separating ourselves through languages and say, oh, this one is a bad man. Oh, this man, is a, his country is a, he's full of scam. Oh, your country don't have scam. Oh, these people, I don't, I don't like the way they do, they talk.
Let's sit up. Let's pray up. Let's don't give up. We need to have love for one another. Not to show who is more powerful. South Africa is not powerful than Egypt. Egypt is not powerful than Nigeria. Nigeria is not powerful than Kenya. Kenya is not powerful than Ghana. We are not powerful. We are all weak in this Africa. They will shoot one rocket and everyone is gone. Let's stay united. Let's pray for South Africa. If God is talking about when I spoke about in 2023, when is it 2022, when I said about Israel should be careful the way they do, that threat is coming. Now, even the Lord is saying, nations will speak against Israel. What is going on now? Do you think the death of Iran president was ordinary death? More nations will come against Israel and they will shake Israel to its knees. Then Israel will all come out, Oh Lord, remember thy covenant upon us. Then we will not see the Bible prophecy coming to pass. So it's not about, oh, they hate, they, they hate Jesus, they hate Christianity. But we are praying for them. We are not fools. Our prayers is what is sustaining the Israelites. A certain preacher said, the Israel of the old is past. This one is a different. No, we don't have a different Israel. This one has been the Israel right from the days. Are you getting my point? So it's time for me to just look at all these things and keep them aside. You get my point? Israel is going to get it. They're going to get it. They will bomb. They're going to have insecurities in Israel. Everybody will be running Hector Sketa because the weapon I see moving into that country, the system cannot detect it. It will explode and it will kill people. And the nation shall go on his knees and say, O oh God of Israelite, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob have mercy upon us. So we are going to see the Bible beginning to replay, beginning to replay. Then people will not know the historical fact of the Bible are all true, not just inspiration writing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So we need to also pray for the Israel who condemns the Christian because they will go on their knees. You getting my point? So after that, God will now use the free few men to rise back in power. So it's time for we to stand up and say the church can never go down. The church, if the church goes down, the countries are down. Are you getting my point? That is why the Lord is saying, I have given them Trump. That is why. Nobody is perfect on earth. Everybody who chose Biden Everyone who chose Biden is regretting why they made Biden the president. Now, some people are still saying no. Uh, what they call it? Trump can nasty be the president. And let me let you know something. If Trump is overthrown and not given the presidency of the United States of America. That's the worst. It is God who uses the weak to rule the strength. It is not you to choose for him. So if Trump, if Trump does not win, the whole case, court case they are using to nail him. Who told you Joe Biden and his son doesn't have worse cases than that? But they are trying to nail a man who called Jesus. They are trying to nail a man who is serving God. There is no man without sin. There is no man without a black spot. 
hurt. So don't feel Trump should be a perfect man. He is not a perfect man. As much as you are there, I am here. He is a flesh. But in all, the election will still go on. And by the time they want to push, and I see the election for the first time, it will be on debate for the time to be shifted so that they can manipulate the election. It's time for we to sit up and know the devices of the devil. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So we should just pray. The other time I spoke about the Congo, about the government that's going to be overthrown, attempt is going to be made. Oh, oh, leave our country alone, leave our country. Was Congo not attempted? If they sentence Trump, it's not a new thing, but he's coming out on election. It's as simple as that. So if they are locking the kingdom of God, now tell me, among all the people that are coming as a president of America, which of them that are from God? No one. And you Christians are the one condemning Trump. Meanwhile, you have your own problem. God's choice is not sentimental. He has a mission. He has a vision. So if they have lied against him to find him, what? what how do they call it? To find him part of it? It is not God's will. You all will watch how he will come back to join the race. Guilty or no guilty? Trump is in the election. Just watch and see God. Then when they pull him out, then America is finished. It is not a joyful thing that the same immigrant that they accepted is what will destroy America from the indoor. Because in the vision, I saw a very tall building. And I saw, these are weapons in America, a very tall tower. These are weapons inside. This big weapon or this bomb have been there for years. They didn't plant it today. They planted it since Biden became the president. It has been there for years. It's just to activate it. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So this bomb is there. That's what the Lord is keeps, keeps saying. There is a bomb in America that is there in a tall building. A very fresh, yeah? very fresh, nice and beautiful building. And the Lord said, it is not their plan yet. Even the Arab nations are happy that Trump is guilty so that American can be fallen. You don't know the American is about to fall? That bomb is there. They are only waiting for the crowd. They are only waiting for the crowd to gather close to this place. An event will be made that everybody will gather close to that crowd. They know about this thing for years. You get my point? So these things will be done and it will explode and that building particles will fall on people and people will die. And the second stage is that since they know it's not building, they will shift from the building and now move in a gathering. So the first one is like a music concert. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The other one is a concert here. Yeah, we have another idiot. He said, oh, God, now news you did. So those news shows you where they keep bump. It's the same. Is a Nigerian man that is also condemning his fellow Nigerian. The same black, the same mentality I'm talking about that we don't have. If it was a white man, he would respect him. You understand? But since he's a black man, he would talk against him because him to have is taking something in the street. You understand? So the other one, when they now observe that this one has succeeded, that is why the Lord is saying the first attempt of the American attack would be like 9/11. Is still in the building. 
Go and keep it. Watch, sit down, and you'll see God's bringing it to pass. I don't know if I've ever said something that haven't come to pass before. Then the next part is where they're going to be with people. So I'm seeing like seven, seven people. Seven. These seven. Seven. Two women are going to be inside the suicide. These are suicide bombers. Inside the seven people, two are women. And they're going to bomb the public and people will die. Would they still look for Trump to blame him? Would they still look for him? These are the last days. These are the problem Americans will have. And the moment it happens, can I give you an instance? Do you know God hates blood? God hates blood. When you, the blood pours on the ground, do you know what happens? Flooding comes. The work of flood is to wash away the blood. And that's when the problem will come in America. So most of you people who are saying, let's go to America. Let's go. You pe the people over there will say, okay, let's come back home. Yeah. And that is why I'm begging the people I know, please, if you come back home, get your Nigerian passport. Get your Nigerian passport. An idiot say your mate has relocated to UK. God did not call me to go to UK and start a church. It's just a fool who is looking for attention. <laughs> My days, which days? There's no man born. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So we should just focus, focus in the place of bringing the church together for we to pray. If they destroy your church, they have destroyed the world. Are you getting what I'm saying? So let's keep praying for the United States of America. So these whole issues that they cannot allow that man to vote will make them try to postpone the election. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So if the Democrats continues, American will start looking for a way to come back because a lot of people will come back home. Yes, they will come back with their passport and say, let's start up something. When the American becomes great again, we will go back. So we just have to pray a very serious point prayer. I still have more words to say, but we will come back live on Sunday by 10 p.m. And the topic is who is a prophet that's going to be a topic for that day who is a prophet when i come next on sunday that one is going to be publicized today is friday i can still come online to preach and and the rest so you can see how people uh even your own people are abusing me they're abusing me oh your mates have left uh, nigeria they ran away uh, because their time have expired have i ever scammed anybody here before i've never scammed anybody i've never told anybody give me one thousand dollar give me one thousand dollar and i will do an assignment for you if it works uh -huh. if it works you pay me balance have i ever done so those are nonsense ministry. I don't do those things. I'm not a magician. So, uh -huh. Money don't is only that if you are too stingy, God will say, so a sacrificial seed towards it. You understand? Uh -huh. So it's not a thing of scam as one person in Ghana called me a scam that I took money from somebody and to then they will walk out. Those things are rubbish. You understand? You see the glitter sway you they collect and call. These are not your real accounts. Hmm? So, these are just the issues. Pain and anger is in our black blood. But we refuse to face it against our enemies. We face it between you and I. It's the most foolish thing to do. Face your enemies and stop facing people who does not know you. Are you understanding me? So the UK people should just pray. The UK people should pray because they will also get their national cake. Yeah. The UK people should pray. This money they are making from Africans, the judgments are coming. You are going to UK, you do premium, and you don't give people visa. 
you accept criminals leave genuine people criminals look for money and they go to into your country and when they go into your country they send those money back to the owners and you accept them and you call all of us thieves you call all of us scam the lord said prepare you will collect your own national cake are you getting what i'm saying mostly you see that prime minister that indian man that indian man i'm telling you that man will pay for everything he's doing against the african process Are you understand what I'm saying? That man idea of frustrating Africans, Nigerians of going to that country, he will pay the cost, not the country. I'm talking about him personally. He's the prime minister of the United Kingdom. I'm not talking about the, the, the whole country. I'm not talking about the country. I'm talking about him as a prime minister. He's about to be disgraced out of the office. You see when we talk about Christianity, he is a bundu or whatever he's serving does his own damn business. He goes to the streets, he prays, he believes in his God. In public, he lights candles, he prays. But if a Christian goes there and try to pray, we, the fellow Christians, we condemn him. I say, look at him. He's a stupid man, a prime minister who is praying, using God to be wicked. But look at the man. He's a Bundi or Bundu, whatever they call it. He's an Indian man. He's not a Christian, but he prays in public. He does everything he wants to do in public for you to know who he is serving. He is proud of who he is serving. Are you getting my point? But you as a Christian, the moment you show that you are serving God, your own brothers will destroy you. Your own brothers will kill you. Your own brothers, we are, staying, we are going to expose you. Because why? We are stupid. We are stupid black people. We don't have sense as black. I tell you the truth, we are stupid black. The moment we go there to say God did it, let's serve God. The same black man will come out and do a lot of stuff. In India, he's the prime minister. He's not a Christian. He's bringing out his God to prove to you that he got, his God did it for him. And that's why God said, I will shake the nation. You getting my point that's why the lord said i will shake my nation and i began to see the sea wolverine if the sea was just turning 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 and while that sea was turning it was draining it was bringing other water it was bringing a lot of water bringing a lot of water bringing a lot of water bringing a lot of i see that day to be a wednesday or thursday bringing a lot of water and that's what the Lord is showing me. Not because everything, the wickedness in United Kingdom is high. The wickedness in UK is high. Tell the, tell the Prime Minister that your wickedness against Africa, against Nigeria, mostly my country, you will bear your own consequences, only you. And that nation will kick you out. You are from the India, like the same way other people are from different countries. You all met in UK and they become a citizen. You decide to be wicked on one part. Everyone in India going to UK does not have stress. There is no stress for the Indians in the UK. Why do you want to stress Africa? Why do you want to stress West Africa? Why do you want to stress Nigeria? Itikwanoma, are you okay? Why are you stressing us? So
So this is water breaking a bridge in the United Kingdom. So I don't, I don't know the bridge, but God did not particularly show me, even though he shows me, I can't say it publicly. I'm only going to show it to my partners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the advantage of the partners. Maybe having a partner, I'm going to, I'm going to tell them if they're in UK. So I saw the water rolling, dragging every water to that place. This is a bridge. It comes to a bridge. It closes it, boom, very high. People inside their houses couldn't breathe. So they are coming. Water went back and took them inside the sea. This is what is going to happen. It's going to happen in the UK. Then the prime minister man will bear the consequences. God is going to judge him and his family. I'm not going to tell you what is going to happen, but God will judge him. There are three things that will happen to him that will happen to his family before it happens to him so let's pray it's a bridge it's coming it's going to close the bridge and break the bridge this is i see car by my left i see car by my left so this place is trapped this is the first time i'm going deep into it so this place is trapped it's a bridge in the united kingdom it's a bridge there's car coming there's car going are you understand what I'm saying? So it's a bridge. The water heat up the first track. You cannot go forward. These people cannot go backward. So the people are stuck in the middle. So this water is a bridge. It's going to come to the bridge and hit those ions. And you will see the rod, the water, how powerful water is. Water is stronger than rod and it will hit the two and these people will be trapped in the middle so that's why i'm just going to give you a hint of what is about to happen in uk go and write it down put it and in the houses it's going to cut up some houses all these old houses in the united kingdom is going to break them it's going to break those ancient houses in uk so there is a place is going to really scatter so it's going to hit it boom and people inside get trapped a lot of babies the hospital is going to go to the hospital and the rest so i am only giving you a glimpse because i wanted to say since i don't want to put fear but the lord said the time is near because as we're walking into june 1st which is tomorrow and after the champions league will be played then it will not be closer so that is what i'm saying so if you are in the uk I think I should talk to you to tell you what to do because the Lord said when the shadow of death was passing, the Lord told the people of Israelites in Egypt, he said, take the blood of the lamb of a ram and paint it on the front of your wall. When they see this blood, they will pass over. So the Lord told me something that you will do that when it happens, it will pass over but as i tell you it's the most dangerous flood i wish people can mock me more people can insult me more so that when it happens i will cross my leg my two tiny legs that is black and i will laugh and people will say so you are laughing people died i say that's the same way they were laughing when i said it Are you understanding what I'm saying? We are talking important things. Somebody is asking me who is winning the Champions League. Why would I want to tell you you want to go play bet? You want to go and play bet if I slap you? <laughs> you want to go play bet? Will you give me the money? If I back, if I slap you, it's not that rubbish. I'm not giving you anything for bet. Hmm? <laughs> you want to go and play bet it will not work I'm not telling you uh -huh. let's leave those, the football part for you bet angel <laughs> let's, that's, that's the prophetic that man is not an ego I don't know what that man is <laughs> leave it for you bet angel please uh, leave it to uh, <laughs> African Cup of Nation that I was using wisdom to talk they nearly killed me please leave me on football I don't want to be a prophet of football so let's just 
let's just pray for UK. Pray for UK. Let us just pray for UK. It's, it's going to be very important. Let's pray. And everybody that is in UK that the Lord is not talking, you are not sure that God spoke to you to go to UK. Please come back home. If you're from, mostly those people from Sierra Leone that are in UK that does not really have the same eye of Nigerian people, please come back. Can you swim? <laughs> please, everybody in UK, start, just go and learn how to swim. After Champions League, come back home for holidays. It's coming. It's coming. The wickedness in UK is high. What do I mean by the wickedness? The wickedness of women kicking men out. One, the wickedness of increment of monthly um, rent. Two, totally, the witchcraft in that country is getting out of hand. Are you understand what I'm saying? The wickedness, the witchcraft in that country is becoming something. Everybody is carrying witch or the powers to the UK. Are you understanding me? So let's pray. So let's just pray. It's very, very important. UK is full of witchcraft. 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 A lot of people that are to be very rich are very poor even when they went to UK. A lot of people God intend to bless in the United Kingdom are very poor. I know a lot of people that are supposed to be rich were rich, but the same witches, the same witches is so much in uk i don't care it's not everywhere it's not everywhere uk is full of witchcraft the cultism spiritually is very high landlords increasing rent don't worry you people are paying 500 i see them increasing to 1000 pounds a month yeah uk is full of winches and there is a there is there is a court system in uk who is trying to summon the gods of lucifer in the uk you see why they are fighting the church the church is reducing the churches in uk are reducing they are bringing lucifer to uk they are summoning Lucifer to UK. So you're not going to expect uh, the, the current king to stay alive. He's dying. Look at him all of a sudden. All of a, just sudden death, he collapsed. The person who is going to take over him immediately will also have health issue. So we should pray for UK. UK is not uh, the hardship the devil is bringing to UK. It's just like that. So let's just let's just pray for the UK. Because the same man who claims to be a prime minister, his people are bringing the Indian gods over the nation to protect him to continue as the prime minister. You're not aware that the Indians are bringing powers to back him to support him for him to stay in power huh? let's just pray let's just pray it's very important let's just pray Indians are coming to UK with their powers they are killing the churches so we have to pray we have to really, really pray. Let's talk about the, the Ukraine. Right now, the Ukraine war, you think is all dead? It's not dead. We know there is war. But the real war is about to, to happen because I see what they call Satan. Eh? A chemical weapon is about to be dropped in Ukraine unexpectedly and they will begin to tell the president of UK to step down.
so that the new president will go to to uh, Putin and negotiate with the new deal and the country will be in peace that's all yeah they would tell him please president can you drop drop your power let's have a new president and the new president will have no options than to go to Putin and say please let's shake you know why other countries deceived us the NATO deceived us you see the NATO they are backstabbers since they killed Gaddafi and took over Libya how have become did they do anything called resurrection they didn't the Lord said Neto is the devil of worldwide Neto is the devil worldwide it is Neto is the Lucifer they are using them as a group to destroy a lot of countries that does not seek their terms. Forget the goddamn nonsense they told you about Gaddafi. It's always a way to kill an African man. They will always condemn, including the same black people who are in America. They will condemn their fellow African in Libya and said Gaddafi was a bad man Gaddafi was they want you to believe the people they call criminals criminals so if they come to tell you that Nigerians are criminal they want you to support them and fight Nigerians are criminal these are what the Western world do these are what American do so your enemies to be our enemies no we don't run that thing like that use me no, you can't use me anymore. I'm, I'm not going to fight my brother because I want to be with white people. Am I stupid? They will use Africa and fight Africa and you guys that claim to be educated in the United States cannot sit down and calculate the cost of war you are creating. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just lying on my bed. I just did a very great woman of God in Sierra Leone. Say, man of God, God told me to tell you that I'm going to give you a land. And the woman gave me a big land in Sierra Leone. I'm about to go take the documentation of ownership. So sometimes God can just call somebody you haven't seen before, you haven't heard before to do something good for you because maybe somebody feel that oh he's going to take my land and property no i don't believe in anybody so i have a land in, in Sierra Leone. i have up to three plots three plots and a half what will i do with that land when i go i'm not going to sell it i will build the church the church will not be closed it's a place where everybody will go and sleep in the night in the morning they pray and go back home i'm not going there to build hotel god did not tell me do business i'm going to build a church people go there pray in the morning they go so when somebody felt oh she's the she she have everything That she have, oh, she have, oh, uh, hey, get out. God did a big thing. Three plot of, three plot and a half. How much is it in Sierra Leone? It's a big dose. Let's just be humble. And even talking about the same Sierra Leone, I saw some few criminals, few, some issues. Um, uh, sorry, my lips is dry. It's okay. I'm not a woman. Rub some chapstick on it. It's okay. I'm trying my best. <laughs> now this is this is this is Sierra Leone moving into Liberia. Are you understanding me? This is Sierra Leone moving into Liberia. What could be the problem? They're having issues. They are fighting in Liberia. And some Sierra Leone people caused some wars. And maybe they killed somebody. And what happened? And there was a little conflict. And Liberia took it upon themselves and say, Why is Sierra Leone? Because I see in the vision, they say this highland country. 
And I saw the Liberia and Sierra Leone having some fight. Could this be war? Not really a war, but it's a conflict between Sierra Leone and Liberia, and not just Liberia, and I'm seeing Gambia being involved. Yeah. I don't know, I've not been to Gambia, I've not been to Liberia. So is Liberia close to is Gambi is Liberia close to Gambia? Which country is close to Gambia? Is it Sierra Leone or Liberia? These three countries began to have conflicts. So we need to also pray because I'm I'm seeing that conflict. Issues in Liberia. Okay, it's Guinea. Oh, thank you. So they, they have it and they came inside. The, the, the conflict is there. These three countries, Sierra Leone, Liberia, you say this Guinea. They are there. They are going to fight. There's going to, there's going to be a conflict. So it's not yet a war. It's a conflict. It's not yet a war. It's a conflict. Senegal, Guinea, and Busia. Nigeria, we'll call it Zubu. Hmm. Now we'll get money, they buy lipstick. We've done our foundation, all the money is gone. <laughs> so, using speech to clean lips. So, Sierra Leone, Liberia, uh, what they call the Guinea. Um, Liberia also, then the Gambia and the Senegal. It's also a conflict. And don't forget Chad. Chad is going to also have their own conflict, and including Niger. They will succeed in coup plan. Yeah, the next two coup plans is about to work in Niger. Another coup plan is still going to work in Chad. All the same countries they took over through military they will still use military to collect them back just go and write it so we need peace so we need what we need peace i think i need this mm. to kill mosquito I like pratica <laughs> I didn't play when I was a child That's how God will shock all your enemies <laughs> from their back and they will die. God punish devil. Mosquito, come now. Now I brought your brother that will kill you. You are not coming out again. Come out to your mosquito in prophet room. Ah, 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 ah. What's going on? He's anointed, not alive. Come, 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 come and die. Eh? Come and die peacefully. Won't bury you, smash you. Nonsense. Even mosquito. Mosquito does not want to die. Mosquito is serving the living God. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of God have to the go and rest to the kid you. A nuisance. Mm. So 
all of them go come let's come talk the same thing what I don't talk before. Make I can't repeat anything about any American election. Talk the one I just spoke about. Yeah. So let us pray for God's help and all that. So they will die in pieces. So let's pray. And the last part is this. Let's also talk about um, what are you asking me about war in UK? And they will throw some, there will going to be some some bomb in UK now. You don't know before. Uh, UK will eat his national cake now. <laughs> they will throw it in one of the one of the most international markets, not African markets. I see rockets going to the international market, not African market in UK. So I should say UK again because your president came. If I if I get angry with you. So we should also put Canada in prayer because God is not also happy with the way they are doing in Canada. The the houses are skyrocketing and things are about to get more expensive, mostly houses. Hmm? Things are about to get worse in Canada. So we need to pray and say, God, every gathering of Nigerians to be frustrated, Africans, because more people will sleep in the streets in Canada in this September that is coming. I saw a lot of people who stays in three bedroom, they are sleeping in the streets. Some they said, okay, you claim you, you are having up to $40,000 when you came into the country. Why did you miss what happened to the money? And they push you out of the house and say they cannot be patient with you. That's what they will do to Africans. You lie that you can have this certain amount of money you came with. Why are you not having a house? And you begin to explain nonsense explanation. They will kick your ass back and you are coming back. So we are also going to have a lot of people sleeping in the street. It will increase. So Canada houses are about to increase. They are not increasing it with the Canada dollar. It's going to be increased. They will measure it with American dollar. That's what is about to happen in Canada. So, so people will come back because they cannot continue anymore. So let's pray. Let's pray. Africans, your traveling will be so difficult very soon. Your traveling will be so monitored that you will be forced to come back home to develop your home. So when God is speaking about these days of Armageddon and the remaining six years of his shaking that is coming, the Lord is talking about the Africans will be a visited homes. Why the foreigners, why the, the Western world will be coming here for safe? Because their nations, their countries will not be normal. Every month, disaster. Every month, disaster. Every year, calamity. So Africa will be a home for most of these people abroad. But the same fear I fear is for the same black people who are in these foreign countries to still come back home and try to act like they have been a president or they are the leaders of tomorrow. So that is where we're also going to have where they will want to use the white against us also. So the Lord said it's about time for the blacks mentality to grow as God wants it. So I think I am done for now until on Sunday next tomorrow where I will be giving you prophetically into it. That is what I think I can do. So God bless you. Uh, I finish in that section.